thank you for staying with us. Uh, we see our barrister Urbani here. Um, he has given us quite um, some menu for thinking about. Uh, we just need to now look at how we can get all this you know, sorted out. No this problem. question of technically, do yes. we really have the Nigeria now? I mean, can we really say we have a country called Nigeria? Because if you look at the uh, the treaty that mm. expires on the 1st of January this year. So, mm. so technically, as a lawyer, so mm. what exactly do we have now? Which law? There's no law. I've not seen in that, that law that says Nigeria expires at the, you know, when we're 100. I've not, nobody, they nobody has shown, nobody, nobody has shown, there's no, yeah, they were just saying it, you know, there's no such just law. Just fighting people. They are fighting us. No, there's no such law. I agree that the white men joined us together without mutual consent, which is why we're saying, let's talk and I agree to stay together. And what we do? And then we now specify the terms and conditions under which to stay together. And, Nigeria will, and that is very key. And it's very key. So Nigeria will begin to work for efficiency. You, 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 you begin you, to you do things. Okay, okay, that. There was a time, you know, you write letter to, you know, even to the, you know, abroad. And you receive a reply. Yes, they will yes reply to you. the post office. If, yes, even to the government. You write to the government. Government will reply you. How many, how many times do you write any letter to government and get a reply? <laughs> they <laughs> reply you. All right. Okay. Oh, I think yeah. we lost our first mm, caller. Mm, uh, mm. We'd like to apologize mm. there. Uh, please, uh, Let's have your calls again, mm. but just in case you have a challenge with the voice calls, mm. try and use the second line to drop a text message, and we can read your questions and your comments mm. uh, to barrister. Mm. All right. So mm. yes, yeah. And that was a time in this country when things, things were are working, sir. You know, we are water. We are water system. I remember you. I met water in life, sir. Not now that you have to dig a borehole. If you build a house without without borehole, you are in trouble. Who, where will you get the water supply? There was time this country was functional, sir. There was there was a country, sir. There was okay, a, so there you was agree with Chinachebe? Yeah, there was, Once there was a country. There was a country, sir. But <laughs> we don't have any country any longer. You don't have dreams again. Our leaders dreamt when we were attaining independence, political independence, and there were dreams. <laughs> you know? <laughs> hello, hello. Good morning. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. You're welcome. Yeah, my name is Peter. Peter, all right? Yeah. Where's Peter calling from? Where is Peter? Okay, please, your question, your comment, quickly. Okay. Uh, my comment is that um, we lack the, just my partner, uh, uh, but I'm telling you, you see, we, we, we leave the right people to live and hmm. put the people that are not supposed to be in government in government. <laughs> that is a true fact. Are we, are we saying that there are no crazy people that can rule this country? And if you, if, you, if, you, if you look everywhere, you will find out that the right people are not even involved in politics at all. So there is no way for them to come out and show their, their talent. Look at the governor of Akwa State. Look at what he's doing there. This is a man with sense and, <laughs> you know, with vision. Who, who, who took the matches at heart? We have so much, so, so, such people. How can we get these people out of their comfort zone to come and rule us? Okay, you are putting that question to uh, yeah, Barry Sobani. Yeah, it's, it's a very, yeah. it's a very, okay, it's all a, right, let him, uh, Peter, let him, let him react to that quickly. It's a very critical question. Okay. You know, but, but you know, Nigerian politics, you know, is so much monetized. If you don't have much so money, it's mercantile. It's mercantile. If you don't have much money, it's difficult, unless the Godfather has also recognized you. But when they also recognize you, they also give you rules and regulation, if you really want to. <laughs> unless when you get there, you can break this. But also, when they know you can break the jinx, they will not put not. you there. So the point is that they don't like honesty. When you are truthful and you are hardworking and you are intelligent, the system resents you. The system doesn't want you know anyone that is righteous, and that is the Nigerian system. Unlike what goes on in, in, other, in other, other countries, countries where they they go for their first level, where you have integrity, where you have honesty, and all, they go for you. And that's where the whole system is working. But here we go for fools. You know, Democrats. when you are going for a governor, you look for a fool to make a deputy who will not in any way. You know, I follow you, sir. But you sometimes know? that that seems to backfire. It, it does backfire. Yes. Uh, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for your program. You have a good program. Thank you, sir. I'm only here to congratulate my good friend, Will. Uh, yeah, but, but Barista, Bani will not know who you are unless you tell us Barista, your name. Barista, Bani. Good morning. Good afternoon. I want to thank God for his life. He's one of the most patriotic lawyers and patriotic in the country. Thank you, sir. Barista, Bani, I salute you. I love you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. If you could, please, in your normal way of patriotism, pass this message that politicians who are jumping here right there are men of unprincipled, mm. men without principle. Mm. 
You come to that. Exactly. Exactly. All right, thank you very much, sir. We didn't have we didn't get your name, but thank mm. you very much for the comment. But you want to react yeah, to that? Yeah, politics of the atomy, you know. They, they 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 go to where they think you know they this thing is very you so know. you're actually saying uh it is neither here nor there no let me just tell you sir i i am looking at it from two perspectives uh one is that most of them are not really actually not principled because if you believe in a particular political party and believe in that that ideology you will stick with it it's it it very difficult for you it's very difficult for you to, to jump shift ground to another political that you don't even know though people say there's no ideology in our political uh, political party they all the same the that it was even the same person that wrote the entire constitution yes one uh, bola Ige, wrote almost all the P both pdp and uh, ad then you know constitution and all that but what i'm saying is that it's also important that we look at it from the hand from the spiritual angle hmm. that god may be doing this in order to really li liberate the people he has found out that people are so impoverished they don't have any money and they may not in any way muster enough courage you know to take over power but within themselves this same class will destroy themselves yeah, now, yes. things we know already they will be the one to tell ah see what is on yeah, yeah, they are eating your money in fact they have finished your money we're all eating it together so god will expose them through themselves you know so i say it that way so i'm very happy also that we're now having some of them joining and then exposing what is going on the other side that is true all the things you know before is true we are eating your money in fact we have finished the economy <laughs> so that people now can be gingered up and say no it cannot this continue this way stop. let us also you know try and redeem this nation for our children sir for our children now this now, man said it where we, people are wasted generation let us not be wasted generation mm -hmm. but our children should also not be not, not be wasted, wasted. We, they, they must begin to have dreams no, recently you called for 1000 mm. nigerians to yes. put action yes, to sir. their words yes, sir. What, what i try to do now i want them to meet especially for this national conference i'm yes. saying that if i'm not if i'm not uh, invited either invited or selected i will be at the fringe i will, I will be at the gate the fringe, to, yes. to, to make my own contribution i will submit my own paper so i i want that one thousand so but my mba work every day i don't have even time because i want to meet with them and over one thousand have indicated interest they want to yes sir in my facebook over 1,000 have indicated interest. It just for, and somebody has even given me a place to, to meet. So free of charge. Yes, yes, yes gather. that will gather you know, and order. Let's begin to articulate because we love this nation, sir. We want this country to be. There is no country like Nigeria, sir. I've been all over. I've been to America. I've been to US. I've been to UK. I've been all over. I've been to South Africa. There is no country like this country where the weather is clement. The weather is mm. beautiful. Mm. Even the food. Mm. Where do you see mm. snail anyhow to eat or bush meat anywhere to eat? Are you following me? It's a beautiful country. Yeah.